What's up guys? So I swung by Walmart, which I don't do very often, and I decided to check out some of their grills. First, they had that heavy duty grill for 97 bucks, charcoal, 349 for the Squeeznart pellet grill. Really good deal. Got this 36 inch Blackstone for 297. Let's check out all the grilling accessories. Here they have all the covers, all the seasonings, gloves, thermometers, injectors. Now it's getting a little late in the season, so a lot of the stuff wasn't on the shelves anymore, but there's still plenty to choose from. There you have a lot of Blackstone accessories, some of the lids, some spatulas, some stuff to season your griddles. That's yeah, still quite a bit left. Lots of griddle kits, kind of starter kits. Some of these Cuisinart barbecue baskets. Those barbecue shears are really nice, actually. Let's see what's doing in there. Bam, so we got the Pit Boss pellet grill. We're starting with this little one, 540 square inches for 292. Pretty nice little setup. Good for a little patio or something like that. There's another one, same model. They had quite a few of them, obviously. Now we're stepping it up, 747 for this KC combo. So this guy is cool, because here you have a pellet grill. Then over here, you have a gas grill slash griddle. So it really is a two in one, three in one, whatever you want to call it. All in one little, not so small, but one package. Not too bad. Here is the Blackstone 28 inch Pro. Now this guy's cool because it has the built-in lid. It's kind of just like a gas grill. It's decent size, but not ginormous. And it looks better than some of the other just kind of like plain looking black ones or whatever. This looks kind of just like a regular gas grill. It's got the nice knobs, the electric, electric ignition, side tables. This thing felt really well built for $274. I would not mind having one of these in my patio. If all the grills that I saw at Walmart on this trip, this one kind of caught my attention the most. Here we have just kind of a plain gas grill. It's the expert grill. We got cast iron grill grates, a whole bunch of burners and even a side burner. $192 for this guy it was $247. Not too bad if you want just a plain regular gas grill. This should last you, I would say at least three, maybe four years if you're lucky. Now here is another Cuisinart pellet grill. You got the pellet hopper on the side. There's a griddle in there. $427. That was $497. What's cool about this is this glass lid, so you can kind of see what's cooking in there without having to open anything up. You see you have these stainless steel or cast iron grill grates, which is good. Got the big display, easy to use. Got a little storage beneath. Nice little unit for sure. These side shelves felt pretty sturdy. You have tool hooks. Here is a very similar Cuisinart unit, except this is gas. What's cool about these and the other one is that window you see there, so you don't have to open anything up to see how your food's cooking. I've never had a grill like that, but I really like that idea. Now here's another Pit Boss. It's the 1000. Here you have the pellet hopper, and then you have the computer up there, which is something different for sure. I haven't had a pellet grill like that before. I like the squared off design. It kind of reminds me of one of those Yoder grills, which is definitely on the higher end side for sure. This has three racks of cooking. You got that little folding shelf up front. There's your grease bucket. Here's another model, very similar. You look at it there, there's your same three racks of cooking. Folding shelf, you got some storage beneath, your grease trap, nice little setup. Here's a, an expert grill pellet grill. Same, same kind of design to it with that squared off look, but this is more of a traditional pellet grill style. You got three racks of cooking the same. I'd say they're actually very similar. In there, it looked like it had a, a deal to uh, expose the flame for direct searing. It was right in the middle. 
297 for that. That's not too bad of a deal, actually. It's another guy there. There's the flame exposer. And here we have one of those KC combos in a box. Big old sucker. Here's some grills they had just as overstock sitting there. And wow, look at all that charcoal. Got some charcoal there. Easy light, regular Kingsford. Got some lump some pellets and here's some smoking chips up here and then down over here there's chunks i'm gonna be getting a whole bunch of these guys got hickory mesquite apple cherry some pit boss pellets there's some cuisinart pellets some good stuff cherry rum a lot going on here and here's some of the black stones and expert grills in the box. Here's pellet grill and smoker, the heavy duty 24 inch there. There's a prep cart. There is the black stone 28 inch. There's a three in one grill there. A lot going on for sure. There's a pit boss four in one. Talk about doing everything in one stop, huh? There's another Pit Boss, the gas and pellet grill combo. There's the Austin XL. There's a Pit Boss 1000. That's that guy we saw earlier, 26 pound hopper. There's that gas grill with the window by Cuisinart. There's another Cuisinart four in one. Wow, look at all these grills. There's another Cuisinart. You got the prep and serve table by Blackstone. Here is a Cuisinart or the Blackstone prep cart, another Cuisinart prep cart with the sink. Look at that guy, little built-in kitchen. Here's the Blackstone prep cart. It's got the sink, the storage, got everything going on. There's a stand-up pit boss, vertical smoker, some more grills, a 24-inch heavy duty. Here's some Weber's, some portable stuff. Got the Smoky Joe, that's always a classic. Nice small pit boss. You got the 17-inch pit boss griddle backpack. Here's some more charcoal, some of the smaller grills. And that's pretty much everything I saw at this Walmart. Here's just give you a look of how everything was laid out. Here's some more of those griddles, the little guys. You can't go wrong with those. So there's that electric one that's new. There's that backpack. Look at all this stuff Walmart still has in stock. I definitely recommend swinging by if you guys are a little late in the season to pick up your grill. Hey, it's never too late, especially around here, huh? Grilling's a year-round thing for me. One more thing I wanted to look at real quick is this Blackstone 28-inch griddle combo with the lid. You got the cart built into it. Look at that guy. Look at all that stuff you can fit on it. You got that nice folding double-walled lid. Look at that cold rolled steel 28 inch griddle. Look at that compared to my hand and I'm definitely not a small guy. So that's a good size grill. These knobs are nice. The handle on the lid was nice. These folding shelves or side shelves felt nice. You even have a magnetic strip there for some of your tools. That's a nice little unit for sure. All right, so I just wanted to show you what they had at Walmart on my quick little trip to pick up some pellets. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for lots more videos just like this. I do a lot of DIY stuff, a lot of grilling videos, a little bit of everything in between. All right, so until next time, peace.